Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This, this is a hard saying. This is a hard prophetic word. This is so hard word. It's the bitter truth, okay? It's the bitter truth, and you will regret not um, listening to this particular prophetic word, probably because you're afraid, or probably because you don't believe, or probably because you don't want to hear something that will hurt you. But I bless God for who this particular prophetic word is meant for that is listening to right now. And I pray that you take a better and the right decision in the name of Jesus. Amen. The title of this particular prophetic word says, Stop wasting your time. He will not marry you. I, I feel so emotional. Stop wasting your time. He will not marry you. So in other words, this person you're thinking is going to marry you will not marry you. So that's it. I'm going to explain to you why I said so. I'm going to explain to you the reason I am giving you this particular prophetic word and this title. And if you listen to this, you're going to definitely understand that this is for me or this is not for me. So it's going to make you get into a place of making the right decision. It's going to make you get into a place where you understand. It's going to make you get into a place where you become truthful to yourself. And this will be the best thing that is ever going to happen to you. All right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And please, if you see me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've been family of because you know that I love you so much and my prayer for you is that the good Lord blesses you, rewards you if you're consistent. Let the Lord upgrade and increase you mightily, powerfully in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You know, while I was talking like the last few statements, I got reminded about, um, I think I've said this before, about a particular lady who attended one of our live sessions and I think there is a bird by my window who attended one of our live sessions and she was so much in love with a particular guy. And I was like, okay, I want to prophesy. Just ask me and all of that. So I was telling people, tell me what you want me to prophesy about. So she mentioned the name of this guy, like the boy. And then she spoke about the boy, like they were together. And then I told her from what the Lord is showing me, you're not together with this person. And then she was like, yes, that's true. I'm not together. But you gave me the mindset. You gave me the notion that you were together with this person. Had it been, I wasn't sensitive in the realm of the spirit to hear the Lord tell me that this lady is not telling the truth. She's not with this person. Probably I just would have gone ahead to just say, you know, you know, sometimes and all of that. But I'm one of those people who I'm not excited when it comes to the prophetic and I'm not moved because I know I'm a prophet of God. God has called me and he has used me several times. So I spoke to this lady and I said, this man is not for you. This boy, whatever, is not for you. He's going to break your heart. And I gave him a lot of, I gave her a lot of confirmations about this boy. And she said the confirmations about the boy was true. To cut a long story short, went into the relationship, disobeyed what I said. And her heart was broken. Came back um, some few weeks we're having live sessions and then she came confessed it and she was heartbroken and then i started laughing i wasn't marking at her you know 
right? It just felt funny. And sometimes I wish I had that instruction, like somebody gives me that kind of instruction that is from God. I'm not talking about somebody who's telling me out of their emotions. I've had so many men tell me, God has said you're my wife. I would have gotten married to like 100 of those men, you know, because this person tells me, God says you're my wife and a lot more other people. So, right, I want to hear it myself. And I, I want to marry who I love. I want to marry who I'm comfortable with. I don't want to marry who tells me my prophecy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, you are with this particular person and you're not meant to be with this particular person and this person this is the confirmation they are not coming plain they're not coming out plain with you from the beginning they loved you so much and from the beginning they show you so much care right you realize that as time went by they started having dreams personal dreams they wanted to become these they wanted to acquire these they wanted to achieve these and because their dreams interrupted their plans about marriage with you and their plans about being with you change so a lot of their plans about the two of you have really changed drastically and every time you talk about it they want to just bring problems out of nowhere where there is no problem so they come and you're trying to say okay like you want to get a clarity about you know what i'm saying right but they start they turn it into a problem and then they make it feel like you are at fault whereas you're not at fault and then another confirmation is you are trying it like you've been talking about the marriage thing like okay when are we getting married and i'm getting old and all that you know but they always find a way not to get you into staying on that topic they will not marry you Yes, they promised you marriage from the beginning. That's not a guarantee to stay. You are not even peaceful in that relationship right now. You're not peaceful at all. This is not what you wanted. Please leave. Who said it? I said it. Leave. They will not marry you. It's going to be from one excuse to the other. Why? You've lost your value before then. They can only realize your value when you're no more with them. But it's going to be two. Number one, they might realize your value when you're no more with them and you've decided to move on and not coming back. Or number two, you've maybe found love somewhere and then you just want to get married and then be good. This is a great confirmation to you. A word to a wife, a, a word to a wife is sufficient. You want to listen? Fine. You don't want to listen? You are delaying your own self. You're delaying your own destiny. I pray that let the Lord help you, give you wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. If I'm talking to you, you need more clarity, please type it on the comment section. Connect yourself, make that confession. Say, God, give me clarity. Give me direction. In Jesus' name, let the Lord give you that as you desire. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please do not forget to pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you now. May the Lord bless you, keep your cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.